You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is my review for Cow. Now, before we get into this review, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can chill with me on each and every one of my new videos. Cow is a 2021 British documentary. From director Andrea Arnold, this film follows several years in the life of a dairy cow from the mundane day-to-day -day activities that the cow performs. So as part of my continuing coverage of the 2021 Denver Film Festival, Cow was a documentary presented as part of the UK and Irish cinema track here at the festival. Now Arnold herself expressed this as a film of gratitude and a film of exposure to a cow an animal that is often overlooked and often not seen, though makes a huge impact in the lives of literally every human, right down to the CO2 and methane released from the animal into our atmosphere that changes the literal atmosphere of Earth. I knew nothing about this documentary heading into the festival. I read a quick synopsis about the fact that it just followed the life of a cow. And that intrigued me being an animal rights person myself. And I have to say, this film got more of an authentic, visceral reaction out of me, more so than any film I've watched in 2021 easily. It was pretty fantastic. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives first. Now, Cow follows in the footsteps of 2020's Gunda, which I also reviewed and watched during the 2020 Denver Film Festival. And it's this innovative style of animal rights documentary storytelling in which instead of hammering home an issue or presenting one side or the next of a certain animal rights topic, these films now are playing to empathy and instead simply showing the viewer the animal and living life with the animal. And specifically in both the cases of Gunda and now Cow, farm animals and their day-to-day -day mundane life. And once again, it works to great effect. This film builds so much empathy just by showing you this dairy cow's life. And what cow is able to really accomplish is to show the honest cruelty of her everyday life, the cruelty amongst the mundane. Listening to these farmers as they just casually talk about the cows and the flippant care that they show towards them the language that they use actually was mind-boggling to me this false sense of caring for the animals while they sit back and put them through these situations and through this cruelty was absolutely mystifying and i have to say without being offensive to farming of vegetables, certainly, but even humane farming practices. Participants in this type of large production farming, I don't know how you live with yourself. I don't know how you are able to connect and feel and live amongst these animals and these creatures and do this, honestly. And that was a huge takeaway of mine repetitiveness of their lives, the fact that they are pushed around, literally put into forced breeding, 
their bodies and their entire existence handled by humans. And in the really harsh way that it was depicted here was absolutely transformative. I had to look away several times when so much of the film was not very graphic because I was that disturbed by just the condition of what was happening before me. That's where Cow succeeds so well. There's not a forefront mission behind what's on display. There's not a forefront narrative that's being spun. It literally is just putting a camera on the situation. And these farmers, clearly, the situation, they let these people come in and make this documentary. And they felt comfortable in what was being presented and the everyday life that was happening here. And that was baffling. And honestly, as I said in my intro, nothing has pushed me to visceral emotion like this film did. It's also not oppressively sad, though there is a sadness just to the depiction of life here. But we get these really beautiful moments that help to gain your empathy as a viewer with baby cows, with the cow that we're following. It's just small things like her lifting up her head to take in the sun and to take in the freedom of the breeze when she's let out into a field. It's really stunning work. And that's what I have to say is it's just stunning work. And I, find, and I personally find this type of documentary filmmaking to be so effective and impactful because it allows you, the viewer, to really connect on a personal level with these animals and to understand the cruelty of the light and to understand the situation of the farming system through a different lens that otherwise is not easily accessible. It's beautiful and haunting all at the same time. And honestly, I mean, it really moved me personally. It really got to me. So then, what doesn't work so well when it comes to cow? Well, in that really effective, mundane, repetitive nature of depicting a cow's life, the film itself does fall just a bit into a repetitive nature in and of itself. By the end of the film, you start to feel the runtime because certain scenarios and certain shots just feel like they've been played one too many times by the time we get to the really impactful ending that we ultimately lead to. So that is both a positive and a negative. The camera work is also both a positive and a negative. Sometimes we get such shaky camera work that it actually becomes a deterrent rather than an effective tool to put you into the situation. But honestly, both of those things are minor nitpicks. Both of those things were just small issues I had. I did feel the runtime by the end. And there were moments where I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is too much, too much shaking. In honesty, most of the time, both of those negatives worked in the favor of the film in really getting me invested in what I was watching and empathizing with this beautiful cow that we were following. Honestly, I really admire Cal. I'll say it again. No film in recent memory has elicited a visceral, emotional reaction like this film did. And that is a true testament to Andrea Arnold and how she chose to create a documentary about this animal. It's beautiful, it's heartbreaking, and it is absolutely devastating. So as soon as Cow is available for you to watch, please give it a watch. It provides a completely different experience from so many of the previous animal rights documentaries we've seen in the past. And for my book, it is extremely effective in its delivery. So that is my review of Andrea Arnold's Cow. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead. 
click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on all of my latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Cal? And what is your favorite of the animal rights, animal issue type of documentaries? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your continued support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.